I think it was just the engagement of the questions. I mean, there were some really good, deep discussions um, and a lot of takeaways. I think having free people from operators and free from providers gave a lot of insight because there is two sides of the fence and to see what the other side is, is doing or looking at and their views on innovation um, is it, good to see. And obviously being from Leo Vegas on mobile, we're always striving for innovation and providing the greatest mobile experience. Um, so it's good to get some insights to what people are thinking. I think it's a case of that there is an agreement across the line that regulation has stifled a lot of innovation. So you look across the board in terms of games um, and operational from an operator perspective, it's been stifled and there's not been a lot happened in the last 12 months. But I think it's, it's visible on both sides that there is a hunger for innovation and a need for innovation, um, but it's finding, as long as it's data driven, finding the right areas to proceed and to collaborate a lot closer um, in, in moving forward. I'd say very important. Um, by having an open forum where you can have so many people from the industry to come in to listen in and ask questions that are outside the the standard view that you're discussing. Um, it's, it's hot topics that everyone wants to really know about. I mean, you look across the board, operators and providers alike, everyone's asking what is the next big thing. I mean, if we look over the last 12 months, you've had the likes of Megaways, you've had Blitz, you've had um, all these different elements that are unique streamers, you know, the streaming community becoming a huge presence. Um, and there's these areas where you can improve it further and innovate more. Um, Syndicate gaming is being looked at and touched upon, but it's not really been pushed. AV and sorry, VR and, and AR was announced a year ago or two years ago, and we've still not seen the, the fruition of that. So there's there's so many different areas where it can can grow. So for Leo Vegas, I mean, obviously the big pro the current situation for us is obviously the Swedish regulations being in full force from July in terms of having all the certificates in place, everything being above board, um, and just making sure we can push forward in that market to, to grow the revenues. Um, and for us as well, it's a huge focus on regulated markets, but also looking to grow in our existing markets as well. Um, and for us. It's taken a little while, but now we're a group and we're a multi-brand company, not just a single brand as we used to be. And we've taken a lot of learnings and we're now putting those into, into to ACT, which is hopefully going to see some promising results in the near future.